Hello and welcome, Cabbage here. In Monster Strike on Tuesday, they are going to do a bunch of uh, buffs to older characters. Um, so let's go through the list. Um, I'm not going to talk about every character, but um, whomever catches my eye, um, I'll make some comments about. Um, and there are quite a few uh, transcendent monsters here. Uh, first one is Agnemoot X. Uh, bump combo gets upgraded, strike shot is sped up. That's okay. Eh, not too much to say about her. <laughs> uh, Lancelot X is interesting. Uh, he gets the super null gravity barrier. Uh, that's where he gets a big uh, boost to his speed. First uh, gravity barrier he hits. And then he also picks up the uh, magic circle boost. Uh, which turns him into a, a rooster instead of a, a chick when he hits the uh, magic circle. Uh, that will increase the strength of his uh, attack. And then a bump combo. Uh, but he won't be able to use his strike shot. Um, but yeah, that means he'll be really good for uh, Aizen Mio, uh, especially because he has the uh, Dark Slayer. Um, so yeah, he'll be pretty good in there. And uh, to be honest, I was looking at all of my Lancelots and Lancelot Xs, and um, if I do fuse them all together, there'll be 40 luck. I was kind of contemplating doing that, and then maybe trying to go for a max luck Lancelot. Uh, but now I'm glad I didn't, because I want to keep uh, Lancelot X uh, separate. <laughs> Um, Apollo looks crazy with like the amount of damage that she will do with her uh, direct attacks. Uh, Susano, his uh, strike shot, the uh, the triangles that he shoots out in his strike shot will now pierce, uh, like Baja, and uh, that's a very good improvement. Um, not very flashy, but yeah, very good improvement for him. Uh, Nanami, she was already really good at like short range with her bump combos. She'll be even better now. Uh, Gimlet, he gets a lot of um, like bump combo homing uh, upgrades. Um, I'll have to try him out to see just how strong it is, uh, but he might suddenly be a good uh, candidate for like farming easy quests uh, like Mozart or somebody. Uh, Genghis Khan is pretty crazy. Uh, bump combo gets uh, upgraded. And then I think that is water element, so he could even maybe be useful in fire quests. <laughs> He would take the extra damage, but he would do the extra damage as well, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, raw bump combo got upgraded a little bit. Uh, Cleopatra, I guess strike shot, uh, that upgrade, that's maybe the biggest news with her. Her strike shot was already really strong, but now it's going to be even stronger, so that's interesting. Uh, Zeus, I always liked him as a very good support character. Uh, now his uh, strike shot, which is like a meteor which does a lot of damage, uh, now it will uh, absorb HP from enemies, so it'll be nice for that too. Uh, World is another one that I'm very interested in. He also gets a very uh, big upgrade to his bump combo, um, so you might be able to use him similarly to, uh, you know, Alice or somebody. And then uh, Siegfried, uh, his bump combo is upgraded so it hits both up and down. Uh, before it was just up. It kind of... In a way, it's good because it makes him easier to use, uh, but he was fun to use before uh, because it was a challenge to, you know, position him correctly. Uh, way back when he had only just had his ascension form, I used him a lot in global uh, to make a bunch of max lux, like Jack and Fenrir, a lot of those really early guys. So, a lot of memories with uh, Siegfried, but uh, yeah, he should be easier to use now. So I think that's the end of the uh, Transcendent Monsters. Uh, next, let's look at the regular Hatcher Monsters and the Drop Monsters. Don't have as much to say here. Uh, Yumiru Evolution is very interesting because he picks up Dash. Uh, he is a power type, uh, but with Dash, of course, he gets the speed up. Uh, he has Minesweeper, Null Warp, and he is a Pierce, uh, which is the same as a Tsukuyomi. And then, even though I have the max luck of both, I do usually use a Tsukuyomi. But once in a while, I do use Yumiru. And then uh, him having the dash will be uh, make him more useful. Uh, also, his bump combo, it'll be upgraded from the regular X-Laser to the rebound X-Laser. So that'll be more hits. Uh, who else is good? Uh, Freeze is kind of interesting. Uh, both of her forms uh, pick up uh, Slayers, so that's cool. And then uh, her bump combos, her homing bump combos, which is already pretty strong before, uh, that gets upgraded as well, so that's cool. Mm, nothing much to say here. Nothing much to say here. Ah, here is a uh, Wadaberion, and then he's one of my most recommended Max Lux uh, because he is a Pierce, 
uh, with a double null, the flight null damage wall. And then he is a power type, so his attack is high, but his speed is low. Uh, but just like Yuminu, he picks up dash. Uh, so yeah, I could definitely recommend uh, to make him if you haven't already. Next, let's look at Light. Ah, this is the character that I may be the most uh, excited about. This is a Skula, the extreme monster. And uh, she was already one of my more recommended like extreme max lux to make uh, because she's a pierce with no warp and then a blast bump combo. Um, any max luck that you can, you know, that is pierced with a blast bump combo is great. And she uh, has no warp and no gauge, which is cool. Uh, she will pick up the null magic circle. Um, so yeah, double null, the pierce, blast bump combo. And then I think she's the only um, drought monster with the pierce, null magic circle, and a blast bump combo. So that makes her really special. And uh, yeah, you definitely want to make the max look. This is the one that I would recommend to everyone. Uh, I passed by uh, Miyamoto Musashi. His bump combos got upgraded, which is very cool. So he'll be a good source of damage uh, with direct attacks and his bump combo now. Um, Percival, he has strong homing bump combos. Those got upgraded. And El Dorado picks up a uh, null magic circle. So that'll make him good for uh, Aizen Mio, same as uh, Lancelot X. And then Dark, ah, Anthony D, the evolution version. This is maybe the biggest, one of the biggest news, uh, but his uh, vertical laser EL uh, becomes a twin vertical laser EL. Um, and then I think he's a blast type as well. So that'll be a really big damage uh, up and down. I think he might outpace uh, the new Phantom even on the, uh, the vertical. Um, so that's pretty crazy. He also has a double null ability, or triple null, I think. Flight, null win, null block, or something. So he could be interesting. And then... And then I think that's it. Yes. Um, so yeah, real quick, just my kind of initial impressions on uh, these characters. Um, I might talk a little bit more in depth about some of them in a, a future video. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.